Hey guys, so today's video is totally different and totally inspired by my Aussie friend Lara aka Armageddon Painted. I have seen this post on Lara's page a while back ago which basically this post ended up to this recreation and to our collaboration together. Lara is an amazing artist and you guys should totally check her out. If you guys would like to know how to achieve this look, please keep on watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get this video started. So I'm starting this video by sculpting the mold on my own life cast. I'm using the monster clay in order to do so. Uh, to be honest, this clay is really, really hard to work with. I mean, I ended up taking, you know, the blow dryer like every single second. And I mean, basically to warm it up like all the time is such a pain in the ass, you guys. You have no idea. But I mean, you have to do what you have to do, so yeah. So then as you can see, I took my spatula and I started, uh, you know, to sculpt it and give it like all the details. And then as you can see, I'm using my uh, spatula, you know, for my details. It was really easy, you know, that way. As I said, I ended up like warm it up like so many times, but it definitely helps. And uh, when I did the details, it's really important when you use liquid latex in order to make your prosthetic, you do want to make your details, you know, to appear bigger because otherwise, I mean, you wouldn't be able to see it on your own prosthetic unless you do it with gelatin. Moving on to the next step, this product called Plastimake. This is basically plastic. Uh, and then once you warm it up, it's pretty much will become like a liquidy thing that you can create pretty much anything you want with this. Uh, you just want to watch out because it's really, really warm. Uh, I ended up microwaving it because hot water was just not enough. And then this is how I create this baby T-Rex teeth. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Uh, I, we need a name for her, you guys. Help me name her. And then, yeah, so as you can see, I'm taking the teeth out right now uh, so that, again, I will have, you know, that type of details. And then once you know, I ended up with a prosthetic, I will just have uh, the correct place to put the teeth. So taking a liquid latex and then now I'm starting to build the actual prosthetic finally. This took me so long, you guys. I was not happy with the details and I ended up, you know, doing it again and again and again. So it took so long. You guys see it here on the video, which was edited. Uh, you know, and then, yeah, I took a sponge, like as you can see, just a wedge. Uh, if you want to use a brush, you can do it, but just so you know, I mean, it will be ruined later on. So just use one that you don't need, you guys. Do not use a MAC one, okay? Do not use a $40 brush. Yeah, so basically all you're gonna have to do is just put like probably 20 layers, you know, or something like that. You're gonna have to wait until each one will be dry. And yeah, it's gonna take a while, it's a process. And so my next level was the coloring. I took some of the uh, Mehron Paradise paint and I started to paint my very beautiful own prosthetic. I was so proud of myself at that stage, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, I knew that I'm gonna make my own T-Rex or monster, whatever you want to call it really. Uh, I knew I'm gonna make it purple from the first day I saw it on Lara. And yeah, so, you know, I took some purple shades, the actual same shades that I wanted to use on my body. I took a black, you know, for the nostrils in order to create some depth. And then I, uh, I did the gums in like brown because I knew that my own mouth was gonna be black. And, you know, it's just gonna give it a whole, you know, more depth and like a somehow realistic look for a T-Rex, pretty much as much as you can think of it as a t-rex you know what i'm saying um and yeah i already took you know the prosthetic off you know the mold as you can see uh you're gonna have to use like some translucent powder in order to do so uh, i didn't film everything as i said it was way too much of filming this entire process and then once i was happy with the color i just started to paint my own body uh, i'm using again the aqua uh, paradise paint from mayron I just took some purples, just like many shades, and I just mixed them all together, you know, with a little bit of white that you're gonna see in just a minute. And you know, just like, in order to create 
depth or like a realistic some sort of look you're gonna have to play with light and shade you know so just like you do your own contour but think of it you know as a body contour you know as if you're trying to create apps no I, I didn't just say that that was a totally like a joke uh, and then that's it once I done with the body I took my prosthetic I had to make sure that it fit my face look at me <laughs> I was so happy with myself you guys look <laughs> okay I'm gonna try to be serious right now so then yeah I took some paper towel uh, and some liquid latex and I put it you know under the actual prosthetic as you guys could see and I started painting my face again I'm taking all the purple shades I used and then I painted my mouth uh, black and also, uh, you know, like the inner part of the gums, I guess you can call it. Yeah, you know, so again, just to give it a little bit more depth and realistic look. Uh, my eyes were, again, purple and then uh, the inner part of my eye uh, ended up being black because I, you know, I have those bags under the eyes. <laughs> And yeah, I took some um, black eyeshadow, I think. Oh yeah, I'm still cute. <laughs> yes. And yeah, so do the smoky eye also in the other side. And then I moved on to the collarbone. I took the black eyeshadow and then, you know, I wanted to give it that definition of the collarbone because she is a sexy ass T-Rex. Yes. <laughs> I'm legit laughing at myself right now so hard. Uh, and then yeah, I took um, the highlighter, I think that this is just like a silver, yeah, this is a silver pigment that I had from NYX. Again, I will list all the products that I use down below in this video, so you will see what I actually use. This is like, I mean, as you can see, it's, it can be a highlighter. I mean, look at that T-Rex though, our highlight is on fleek, you guys, look at this, look at this, do you all see, you guys. <laughs> I can spark from space, hello? I mean, I mean, please, yeah. Some more in the other side, because I have to glow. Give me that, give me that. Okay, okay, you guys, I'm gonna try to be serious right now. So yeah, uh, so I contour and highlight my face. Well, my new face, I guess you can say. And then, yeah, I took a stippling sponge with some uh, water activated paint in black and white. And then once I looked like, uh, you know, like a galaxy dinosaur, you know, so that legit I can glow from space because I am the galaxy, you know. Yeah, so I took my uh, new teeth and I placed them, you know, on my gums, I guess. Look at me. <laughs> yes, give it to me. Give me, yes. Yes. So yeah, so I ended up gluing my teeth and this is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new today. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if not for me, so for Juicy, look how cute she is, you guys. Yes, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye now. Happy Halloween.